Hey there. Welcome back, people, and a huge welcome to my Thrival Trad. If you haven't met me before, my name is Lexi Tommy, and this is my Thrival Guide. Every Thursday, I sit down and I talk to you about how to get your life together. It's a fun little channel on adulting, and it's going to help everything in your day to day go much smoother. So stay tuned today and subscribe below so I can keep coming back at you every Thursday. I want to welcome you back to the Minimalism Life Challenge. It's brought to us by ModernMinimalism.com and it's a fun little checklist that you can go through too. It breaks it down into little bite-sized chunks that you can take care of day after day, one task at a time. So go ahead and hit that link in the description box below. Let me know how you're doing on it. I can't wait to do this with you. So let's go ahead and pop in and take care of days 19 through 24. Day 19 is declutter your car. I'm going to tell you, my car is like the mama mobile. It is gross sometimes. I like to keep my car super clean and super clear of clutter. I like to plan ahead of time. So I like to have a to go bag ready to go in the back, along with miscellaneous grocery bags and things that I can hold items into to easily take them into the house. But with running kids from activity to activity, them stuffing their granola bar wrappers into the car, the muck and the mess of spring has been just about enough for me to say, it's time to declutter. So this is a great time to clean up everything, streamline only what's necessary in the car and get it working to its optimal point. Time to clear it on out and wipe it all down. The before and afters are amazing. And I know when you do it to your vehicle too, it is going to make such a difference. Day 20, spend 30 minutes outside. Ooh, this I'm going to tell you is too easy for me because it has been a really long winter. I am spending every second I can outside these days. So 30 minutes is nothing for me to take care of. Go ahead and welcome spring with open arms as well. Day 21, I'm going to have you go ahead and write down all of your family's favorite go-to meals. This is going to be amazing prep till fall. If you can write them down and in your agenda, go ahead and put them in for August or September, making your fall bulk freezer meals is going to be too easy starting the busyness of fall with the kids back to school and back to activities and back to work and crazy, crazy schedules. I'm going to tell you having an arsenal of quick family favorite meals in the freezer is going to make life a whole lot easier. Day 22 is clear your kitchen counters. I live to have clear countertops. It irritates me to no end when they're cluttered up. And because I strive for this every day, I'm going to show you what I go through because my family likes to dump all the mail, all their bags, everything onto the counters. I have a clutter monster in my house that loves to put things on the countertops. So let me show you how I clear the countertops each day. Day 23 is a fun little project that you can do while you're enjoying your time watching your favorite program on the couch. Go ahead and spend 10 minutes unsubscribing from emails. It's going to declutter your notifications and declutter your email box, which will make your life seem more streamlined and easier to handle. Day 24 is declutter and organize your bathroom drawers. My drawers are typically minimalized, but I'm going to tell you, I live with a real family of four who like to throw things just into the drawer from an unknown height and hope it lands. Organizing and going through to make sure that they're in the right spot and to make sure that they're still needed in your life will be so helpful. Your drawers are gonna require a refresh from time to time. This is a good time to tackle them. I wanna thank you for coming along on this journey with me. I've been having a lot of fun. If this video helped you, let me know in those comments below. Like and subscribe so I can keep coming back at you every Thursday. I want to thank all of my thrivers for coming back week after week. I really couldn't do this without you. Welcome thrivers to my thrival tribe. 
We'll see you soon.